Our Contessa Brewer is in far Texas as we consider the stocks most impacted by all of this. Contessa, I, I read the Calvacina note, the headline, the view from the trenches on the Mexican front. You give us the view from the trenches on the Mexican border. That's right. You know what? $352 billion in goods last year, Scott, from Mexico into the United States. 10% of it right here in the Far International Bridge. On this side is McAllen, Texas. It's a, it's a hub of international trade and distribution. On this side is Reynosa, Mexico, which is where all those maquiladoras are. Those are the factories that take raw materials and turn them into equipment and products and parts for export. Right now, wait times, 43 minutes. They've shut this down to car traffic. Only commercial traffic is the priority right now to go through. Here's the problem. Custom brokers say, we're not prepared to assess tariffs coming in on Monday. There's no mechanisms in place. In fact, the Pacific Association sent a letter to President Trump trying to explain that. On this side of the border, you have companies like Whirlpool, Black & Decker, Panasonic, Alpine Audio. Many of these companies have already complained that China tariffs have significantly increased the cost of raw materials. It's a big headwind. Now they're bracing for these 5% tariffs starting Monday. Scott? Yeah, for good.